We're going to install a TRE. That stands for Timing Retard Eliminator. Uh, we're going to put it on a Suzuki Gixxer 600. And basically what a TRE does is it um, <clears throat> Suzuki from the factory, among others, have retarded the timing on their motors in first gear through fourth gear. And it takes away quite a bit of power. So this little device advances the timing back to where it needs to be to get your full performance out of your motor. Runs a lot smoother, more power, um, quite, a bit, quite a bit of other advantages. Now this one is a nice one. It's made by RPM Industries. And the thing that's nice about this one is it's switchable. You can turn it on and off as you like it to be. Uh, most of the other TREs are just a little box or a little plug thing that you plug in and it stays on all the time. And the problem with those is your gear position indicator won't work anymore. It'll be stuck on fifth or sixth gear all the time. The good thing about having a switch is other things that um, will happen if you have the other ones that stay on all the time is you won't have any engine braking. Say you're getting off the freeway and you're coming down the off ramp and you're letting your engine slow you down, all the back pressure on that, you'll lose that with the TRE on. Also, you want to be able to turn it on and off when you start your motor up and the cold weather and it's starting to warm up, uh, it'll run really rough with the TRE on. So you want to be able to turn it on or turn it off. There's quite a few more other advantages to having a switch, but right now we're going to go ahead and install this one. It's real quick, just takes a couple minutes. Um, first thing you want to do is take off your seat and unbolt your gas tank, just lift it up a little bit. You'll be able to see back here on the back of the engine. Now in the back of your engine compartment you'll see this white plug. And you want to make sure and get the white plug that has the pink, the blue, and the black wire that come out of it. These wires will actually run right down behind your sprocket cover and it goes to your GPS, your gear position sensor. Now there's another plug back here that looks just like this one. It's actually goes to your fuel system. You got to make sure not plug it into that one because if you do your engine's going to run really bad and your fuel light will come on and a few other things. So just make sure and get this one that has the pink, the blue, and the black wires. Now what we're going to do is you're going to push this little tab, pop these two apart, and to take this one, plug it into there, take this other one, plug it into here and then the switch you can mount this anywhere um, box you probably want to put back in here the zip tie and it's tied up into place the switch can go up to the front of the bike and uh, it takes a little quarter inch hole you can mount it in an easy access area where you can turn it on and off and that's it this box is made by RPM Industries it's only forty dollars much cheaper than these other ones that you find on the market now that can be upwards of $160 and you have to buy other attachments with them to get things to, to work. It's the best one you can get, $40 RPM Industries. Thanks.